Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Kyle, also known as Riots, and welcome back to another H1Z1 video, and we got some breaking news today. Uh, it was actually yesterday, we got a brand new uh, producer's letter, which uh, normally in these producer letters, we see updates on the game, we see new releases and stuff like that, and today we actually have a official confirmation that H1Z1 King of the Kill is going to come out of early access on September 20th. 2016 which is a great thing for h1z1 this is one that's going to come out of early access it's been in early access for around a year and a half and it's just a great milestone and they can finally just say they they completed the game i guess you can say because this is when a brand new map is going to come out the z2 map the long-awaited map where they put most of their detail and you guys can obviously see it looks freaking amazing than our current map that we have now so it's just really awesome seeing this all come together and seeing it finally release and there's actually going to be a price increase on the game. It's going to go from $20 to $30. Um, but, uh, you know, it's, it's up to Daybreak on the price. Honestly, I think it should just remain $20 because you're really just paying for, like, one game mode, basically. Just Battle Royale. Like, And there's still a lot of microtransactions. I don't know. I think it just should be $20. But it's whatever. It's Daybreak. Daybreak's controlling it. It's, it's whatever. But, uh, yeah, a lot of people are like, wow, is this, when, is this when the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One versions of the game come out? Well, let's take a look at the producer's letter. So this is where some of the disappointing, I guess, news comes in. You know, honestly, I think it's a smart move by Daybreak, but uh, I guess you guys can uh, decide in the, the comment section below. So this producer's letter was from one of the head developers. I forget his name. I apologize. But uh, he basically stated in the, le uh, the letter, What does this mean for Xbox One and PS4 launch? As soon as we ship the full PC experience out of early access, we will turn our focus back to converting that same experience to run on consoles. So what he's basically saying is we want to make sure that this game is all polished. We want to make sure this is all optimized for the console version. Because right now at its current state, we don't have the new Z2 map. We don't have the the new UI and all that stuff. And there's just still a couple of little bugs and glitches that it's just not really optimized and really playable on the console yet. They want to have all these features come in so that it can just make for an awesome experience on console. It's not like lag lustered and stuff like that, which would be, which I'm really excited for. I think it's a, it's a great, uh, it's a, it's a, it's, they definitely are in the right here. I think they, you know, should really focus on making the PC players happy making sure that everything runs smooth on the PC, and then again, they'll, they'll put their focus back on the, the console versions, which I think is good, because they were worrying too much. It's probably why the Z2 map took a while, because they are probably trying to deal with the PlayStation 4 and all that stuff, so it's a smart move on Daybreak, and I'm looking forward to see what they do in the future. Um, and they said they don't have an exact date on it yet, but I believe they said somewhere, I don't know. I might be wrong on this, but I, I guarantee it's going to come out this year. It has to come out this year. I'm guessing... Maybe towards the holidays, I think that's when it's going to uh, sell well. Um, but we'll see. We'll see what's going on. So that's about it, guys. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you guys did, be sure to leave a like. My name is Kyle, and I'm out. Peace.